gentlemen, and welcome to Conley Gymnasium here on the campus of Flora High School. My name is Bruce Dickey here for Wabash Catch TV as tonight. It's the Salem, Wild, Salem Wildcats taking on the Marshall Lions for the uh, Class 2A Regional Championship here in Flora. Should be a dandy. The Marshall Lions, the number one seed, they are in with a record of 23 and six on the season. Uh, they've won uh, their la they've won on Tuesday night by 40 against the tough Vandalia squad, and they'll be taking on a uh, gritty and uh, tough Salem Wildcat team in with a 15 and 15 record, who uh, advanced here uh, by defeating Shelbyville on Wednesday night. Should be a dandy. Let's take a look at some of the uh, statistics. Coming into tonight's action, we'll uh, give you an idea of what we're uh, talking about with these two squads. The uh, Wildcats come in. They've won four out of their last six ball games, including that win over Shelbyville. They're 15 and 15 on the season. Their last uh, their last wins were over Breeze Central, Flora, and Freeburg, and then Benton. Before that, Benton in a regional championship themselves tonight, as is Breeze Central. Uh, the uh, Marshall Lions uh, coming in also. They've kind of turned things around here late in the year. As uh, Well, you can't really call it turning things around. It's, they were 22-3 and three going into a tough stretch of a couple of Indiana games and uh, plus a conference game to Robinson as uh, they uh, lost three in a row but then came back with a huge 88-48 to 48 win over Vandalia. Take a look at some of those statistics, those season statistics. The Marshall Lions come in uh, averaging 15 points a game over their opponent. They've uh, scored their average at 65 points while the uh, opponent's scoring only 50.3 against the Marshall Lions. For Salem, they come in averaging about 47 a game and giving up 46 which kind of uh, it tells you why they've got a 15 and 15 record in here with a 500 record. <clears throat> but really, at this point of the season, uh, it's not really the season anymore. At this point of the postseason, the uh, records, uh, you can throw them out. These teams are both 1 and 0 oh heading into uh, tonight's contest. And uh, the Salem Wildcats, as I said, have won four out of their last six. Marshall beat Vandalia 88 to 48 the, just on Tuesday, uh, but, and uh, but this, it's just you don't know what Marshall team to expect really coming into tonight. The, is it going to be the team that uh, Flora stayed within four points of, or is it going to be the team that defeated Vandalia on uh, on the, on Wednesday night or Tuesday night? So who knows? We can, or just all we can do is just look forward to it with bated breath. And we will do so. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with the uh, starting lineups as, the, as well as the uh, national anthem here from Conley Gymnasium in Flora. Back after these words. Shy Diesel Service Company is your anything diesel full service center and fuel injection shop. Shy Diesel offers the quickest turnaround times to get you back on the road. Shy Diesel can service any diesel engine from agricultural, construction, heavy duty truck, and automotive. Let Shy rebuild your pump, injectors, or turbos. Need custom fuel lines? Shy has you covered. With a drive in service, they offer a variety of services, including oil changes, engine rebuilds, DOT inspections, and DPF cleanings. For unmatched quality, think Shy Diesel Service Company. Anything? Diesel. Are you tired of searching high and low in those big chain stores to find what you need and deserve some royal treatment? Come to the King, Rural King in Salem. The friendly folks at Rural King will never leave you searching for those hard to find items on your list. Farm, home, sporting, automotive, and clothing. Oh, and did I mention we also have everything else, along with all the quality brands that you deserve. Salem Rural King is a proud retailer of the steel product line. Your searching is over when you know the King, Rural King in Salem. I thought I'd lost my business in that fire, but my agent was there before the flames were out. He said, together, we're going to rebuild. Our employees depended on it. My independent agent and auto owners made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. North Wayne Insurance Agency in Flora is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency. 
Are you needing to advertise or promote your business or special event? At Meager Signing Graphics, they can print and install laminated vinyl on all sizes of metal, PVC, and plastic sign material. Meagers offers all types of vinyl options with professional installation on your vehicles, walls, and windows, or just about anything else you would like to be personalized. Meagers also offers all sizes of PVC and mesh banners. Meagers is now able to offer LED message centers. Stop in or call Kevin Blank or Danny King at Meagers Signing Graphics for all your lettering and advertising needs. Morton Building's annual sales event, Building Value Days, is going on now. If you're dreaming of a home and garage, farm storage building, insulated workshop, or even a horse barn or commercial facility, take advantage of discounted pricing on new buildings through February 29th. The quality of our materials, craftsmanship, and industry-leading warranty will ensure your satisfaction for generations to come. So don't delay. Contact your local Morton sales office or visit mortonbuildings.com and learn how you can build for less during building value days. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamontsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Established in 1945 by farmers and folks like you, the primary goal of South Central FS has always been to improve the profitability of farming. And with a focus on service and safety, FS Propane is committed to keeping your system and appliances running efficiently. FS is a local full-service propane company offering you expert tank installation and system maintenance, as well as dedicated seasonal service. So when it comes to managing your propane needs, look to the experts. Look to South Central FS. Welcome back to Conley Gymnasium, the home of the Wolves, but they are not here tonight as we are beginning to uh, fill up a little bit. Pretty good crowd for both sides. Uh, the, uh, the Marshall student section down there above the Salem Hoop for the first half is going to be loud and rocking. This game tonight here, just one of uh, 32 Class 2A regional championships, as well as 32 Class 1A regional championships this evening let me give you an idea we're going to try to get some scores throughout the course of the evening but uh, there's a lot of uh, other games going on that we are certainly keeping an eye on uh, over at altamont tonight altamont takes on dietrich in the 1a regional final and the, the moving maroons in altamont that's a national trail conference matchup right there same story over at bridgeport at red hill the Effingham St. Anthony Bulldogs are uh, taking on the Louisville North Clay Cardinals in another National Trail Conference matchup, Class 1A, belonging to the NTC so far this fall or this spring. The, um, down at uh, the uh, Vienna Regional will be Massac County taking on Mount Carmel, and then a big one at Carmi also tonight. The Fairfield Mules taking on the, the Benton Rangers up in Paris tonight. Two topless wooden shoes take on the uh, Pena Panthers. And again here at Florida, it'll be Marshall versus Salem in what should be just a whale of a basketball game. We are getting more and more crowd throughout the entire evening and the national anthem set to go. We will be uh, back with the starting lineup after you enjoy our we national anthem. Enjoy tonight's portion of March Madness. At this time, please rise. Gentlemen, please remove your hats for the play of our national anthem.
final strains of our national anthem, the Salem Wildcats, under head coach Andy Fahrenbacher. They're in with a uh, record of 15 and 15 on the season. And by the way, while we have the opportunity, hello to Beckham. Uh, Beckham Bass, Greg's boy, is uh, home tonight watching. And uh, Greg wanted to make sure that uh, we uh, said a big old shout out to Beckham. He is uh, having to stay home under an abundance of caution. Uh, try that darn flu virus. You don't want to don't want to get messed around with that. So, uh, so good luck to you tonight, uh, Beckham. We're all for you. For the Salem Wildcats, as I said, under head coach Andy Fahrenbacher, they will be in their green road uniforms with the red and uh, white striping. And white numerals with uh, white Wildcats emblazoned across their chests. Starting for Salem at uh, guard number four, Leighton Ware. He's a 5'11 senior. He'll be uh, joined in the backcourt by Jacob Kenke. Kenke's a sophomore, wears number 10, 5 feet 8 inches tall. And boy, when he went, uh, when he played, the, uh, they switched him to point on Wednesday night. That really made a difference in that Shelbyville game. Hatton Liebarger will be the third guard tonight. He wears number 14, 6 feet 1, and a junior. Caden B, the sophomore, down on the blocks. He's 5'11", plays about 6'5". He wears number 23. He is a sophomore. And Trent Bowles will round out the starting lineup for the Wildcats. Only uh, one senior in the starting lineup, only two seniors on the team for Salem. Trent Bowles, number 42, junior, 6 feet 4". So 5'11", 5'8", 6'1", 5'11", and 6'4", for Salem. For Marshall, they are an experienced crew. Four seniors and one junior in the starting lineup. Number 10, Ethan Cowan, 5'10". He's a senior. He'll be playing guard. He'll be joined by number 11, Daniel Tingley, a junior, 5'11". Number 15, Jaden Wallace, Josiah's younger brother. He's 6 feet 1". Where's number 15? A senior. He'll be joined by Big Jesse Burdick. Jesse is six feet seven. Where's number 23? He's a senior. And wrapping up the uh, starting lineup for the Marshall Lions under head coach John Weber, Ethan Harper, number 33, six feet three inches tall, and a senior. So 5'10, 5'11, 6'1, 6'7, 6'3, four seniors and a junior for the Marshall Lions. The officials tonight. Good, experienced crew. Barry Adair along with a Jared Knapp and Darren Greenwald as we are just about ready to get her underway. Get it going here in Flora. It'll be Jesse Burdick jumping up center for the uh, Marshall Lions. Uh, gets Caden B for the uh, Salem Wildcats as Darren Greenwald steps into the center circle with the basketball and... Uh, Blows the whistle. We are underway. Looked like B had won the tip, but it goes in collected by Marshall. Long three put up immediately. Will not go from the corner for Daniel Tingley. Talking with the coaches for Salem earlier, they said, but boy, you really need to look out for Jaden Wallace, number 15, and Daniel Tingley, number 11. They are. They will create all kinds of havoc for the Marshall Lions. Three on the way from Caden B. Won't go. Rebound gathered by Leighton Aware, and the shot is blocked. Knocked out of bounds by Tingley. It will remain Wildcat basketball. Looked like Ware might have thought he had a clear uh, lane to the hoop, and Tingley came out of nowhere. So Kinky with the basketball for Salem. Over to B. He loses the handle. Stolen away by Harper. He dribbles through traffic off to the right side. Three on the way from Cowan. No good. Rebound uh, gathered by Wallace into the corner. Tingley to the hoop from the block. Short jumper is good. Daniel Tingley will open the scoring. Seven minutes to go here in this first quarter. The winner heads to Shelbyville for the sectional uh, where they will play on Tuesday night against the winner of the Roxana Regional. Nice drop pass to Bowles, and he misses the bunny. Rebound tipped out on the way to the hoop. Tingley lays it up and in. Salem playing a little tentatively inside, I think. 
I think the Bulls might have seen that first shot get blocked from Ware, and he was waiting for somebody to take a swing at him and didn't put it up as aggressively as he should have. Ware on the runner, won't go, rebound, loose on the floor. Who's got it? Still loose. And it will be a held ball. Check that. It'll be a timeout on the court taken by Marshall as uh, Burdick got a hold of it. We'll take a timeout as well. Marshall timeout leading 4 nothing. back after this word. Napa know-how. At Flora Auto Parts, you can count on the Napa know-how experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, your locally owned Napa store carries a large inventory of parts for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced counter people understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa know-how at Flora Auto Parts. Here's a look at that nice drive by Tingley where he stopped on the block and hit that short jumper. That was the first bucket of the game for Marshall. They lead 4 nothing as they retain possession following Burdick scramble on the ground for the uh, basketball. J- Jaden Wallace will bring it across for the Lions. Off to the right side, Tingley. Daniel Tingley, uh, the only junior in the starting lineup. He's got four points. I was about to say he has six. Still just four. Rebound to Kenke. Here come the Wildcats. Lieberger out on top to B. Around the horn to Ware. Picked up by Wallace. Back outside Latin Lieberger. He's got Tingley on him. Lieberger and Tingley probably have a little... Lieberger probably an inch or two on Tingley. But Wallace giving up a little bit or, or Ware giving up a little bit to Wallace. Kinky off to the right side to B. Drives into the middle. The runner's up and good. Caden B will open the scoring for Salem. They trail 4-2. Very early. Wallace gets his screen. Tries to get around it. Kinky, he'll back up. Fire a long three off the back iron. No good. Rebound loose. Ethan Harper. Tough shot. It won't fall, but they're going to call a foul, I believe. On the, on the uh, junior for Salem, Trent Bowles. First foul of the basketball game goes against Trent Bowles. 5.08 to go here in this first quarter. And Ethan Harper, one of numerous seniors on this Marshall Lions squad, hits the first. One, two, three, four, five, six seniors on the Marshall Lions. And Harper hits them both. That's something folks always like to think about when you come into this uh, loser go home type of games. uh, Winner uh, move on. On the pass to Lieberger. Puts it in and he's fouled. Beautiful pass from Kinky. Lieberger with the finish. And Harper will pick up the foul. That'll be the first against the uh, Marshall Lions. Lieberger will head to the free throw line. As I was saying, a lot of folks think about that, think about the number of seniors, wonder who's got uh, more incentive to keep playing. A lot of times the seniors, they don't want to finish up. Tingley uh, gathers after a tough catch off his knee, gets it over to Wallace on the left wing. Kinky staying close on the man-to-man. Off it goes to Cowan. On the drive, uh, Burdick back outside, and they'll drop it to him again. Hook is up, no good. Rebound comes down to Caden B. Here come the Wildcats, chance to take the lead. They're down by one, six, five. Lieberger down the lane, puts it up, and travels. So the turnover will give it back to Marshall. And in the pass comes... To Daniel Tingley. He comes all the way across the line down the lane. Shot is up and off. No good. Rebound Harper up and in. Harper now with four. Luke Light heads to the scorer's bench. He'll uh, check in at the next whistle. Under four minutes to play. First quarter, 8-5. The lead for Marshall. Out on top with it, Haddon Lieberger. 
to be on the right wing. I'm not sure they wanted B firing that three earlier. He thought about it and heads to the hoop. That's what they want him doing. He gets there and lays it in. Caden B, just a sophomore, has been a little bit inconsistent. But I tell you what, if they can get him to play like that all night, Salem might have a real solid night. Harper with it at the upper right wing. Hands it back to Wallace around the horn to Tingley. Wallace in between the circles. His team up by one, eight to seven. Marshall in their home whites with red numerals. Well, Wallace I thought was going to fire that one. Tingley will from 16. It's good. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. 10-7. The early lead here for Marshall. They've led by four, now by three. Bowles makes a move to the hoop, puts it up, no good. But he is going to draw the foul on Jesse Burdick. Burdick's first, team second. And one of the uh, scouting reports we were we were given before the game or uh, the Burdick is prone to the occasional foul issues. Lance Rees at the bench ready to check in. Possibly for Burdick as Bowles. He'll check in for Harper. Bowles hits the first. Ten to eight. Marshall with the lead. Trent Bowles at the line for Salem. Two out of two. And he'll head to the bench following that shooting exhibition as Luke Light checks in for the first time tonight. Luke Light, a 6'5 sophomore. Jaden Wallace will jog it across the timeline. Looks to his left. Over there to Cowan. To the high post. It goes to a verdict. Right side. Now Wallace. Wallace defended again by Kenke. I cannot stress enough how important it was for Salem for Jacob Kenke uh, on uh, all night long defending on Cade Cool. Shot is up and no good. Rebound Luke Light for Salem. Wildcats can take the lead. They trail by one, 10 to nine. This is probably the pace the Wildcats would love to see all night long. Kenke drives on Cowan. Now gets it back out. The ball stole a little way. Tipped in the air by Cowan and picked up by Tingley. Long three for Wallace is off the iron. No good. Rebound comes down to Lance Reese as he came in for a Harper. And Marshall will uh, try it again. Leading by one. Nearly uh, caught the Wildcats in a switch. Down it comes to Burdick. Clears a little room. Puts it up. Oh, it won't fall. And the rebound tipped out of bounds. It will uh, go to the Wildcats. With a minute 37 to go here in this quick-paced first quarter. 10-9, to 9, the lead for the Wildcats. Oh, pardon me, for the Lions. Lions come out in some pressure. Caden B across with it over to Ware. Ware, short jumper, no good. Rebound picked out by the Lions. Pass ahead uh, intended across for Tingley. The one-hander. Got stuck in the legs of uh, several Wildcats, and it was basically kicked. So Tingley will toss in. 10-9 the lead for Marshall. Cowan with it to Burdick. Around to Wallace. Wallace stands between the circles, gets it off to the left side to Tingley. Ware with his hands full with Tingley tonight already. Tingley's got six out of their ten. One ten to go here in this first quarter. Wallace takes his time. They reset the 1-4. To the right. Now out top to Reese. Drawing light a long way from the hoop. Off it goes. Cowan back outside to Tingley. Under a minute to go in the quarter. Good defense by Salem. Really shutting down the Lions lanes to the hoop. On the drive. Stopping at the free throw line. Really good help from Leighton Ware. This is about a minute long possession so far for Marshall. And they've barely got it inside the three point line. Salem may end up this quarter behind, but boy, this has been a defensive show that possession. Three on the way, no good, and a foul against Burdick. Jesse Burdick, a little bit off balance, went over the top of Caden B, and uh, that will be 
his second foul. Ethan Harper will check back in for the 6'7 senior. Long pass to Light through his hands and out of bounds. Turnovers hurting the Wildcats here in the first quarter. And it'll go back to Marshall with just 18 seconds to play here in this quarter. Got to presume they'll uh, wait for a last shot. As Tingler brings it across. Tingley across at 10 seconds. Three at the top of the key is good. Daniel Tingley, what a first quarter. Quickly up and across, Lieberger under a second. Shot is up and off the iron. After one, it is Marshall 13, Salem 9, back after this. In 1916, Warren Miller chose auto owner's insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Country Roads Realty goes the extra mile to take you home. Managing broker Jessica McCleary, along with Terry Weedman, Judy Reed, and Brandon Klein, bring commitment, integrity, and results, as well as 21st century technology to the business of real estate. Virtual house tours are always open at countryroadsrealty.net. Call Country Roads Realty at 842-SOLD and give Country Roads the chance to earn your business and to add you to their long list of satisfied clients. There's a long look at that long late three pointer put up by Tingley as we get set to begin the second quarter of play. It's 13 to 9 in favor of the Marshall Lions. It'll be Salem Wildcat basketball. Kenke will bring it across. The way Salem played uh, defense that first quarter, that's what's kept them in the game because they've had some turnovers as well. Offensive end for Salem really kind of needs to pick it up, but the defense has shown up tonight. Outside with it, Caden B drops it down. Nice drive by Haddon Lieberger. Can't get the shot to fall. Good board by Light up and in. Luke Light cuts it to two, 13-11. Marshall with the lead, seven and a half minutes to go here in this first half. Jaden Wallace outside. He gets it to uh, Jacob Schaffner in the ballgame now. Tingley will take another. Boy, oh boy, Daniel Tingley is smoking. 15 to 11, and it's going to be a violation as... Leighton Ware stepped out of bounds. It was a throw-in after a shot. He should be able to do that. But uh, maybe if had he gone out of bounds and stayed there. Jumper up and good off the alley-oop for Daniel Tingley. Timeout on the court. 17-11, to 11, Marshall. Timeout taken by Salem. Back after this word. Residents of the Get ahead of the game at Carter Athletic Academy, where the goal is to transform you into the best young athlete you can be. Train for top performance in football, volleyball, soccer, baseball, and softball. Professional private lessons and clinics are always available with Carter Athletic Academy's expert training staff. Carter's exclusive hit track system brings skill development as well as exciting gameplay to batting cages. Plus, the academy is the perfect spot for your special event or celebration. The Carter Athletic Academy in Fairfield. 17 to 11. Wildcats just shooting themselves in the foot with turnovers. They need to clean that up. Donovan Williams checks in for Salem. He'll step in for late and aware as they beat the press up to Bowles. To the hoop. Tough drive. Shot won't fall. Rebound Liebarger. Puts it up over Harper and in. That's the thing. Salem's only down four, but with the turnovers they've had, Marshall, you would conceivably think, should be up uh, 
more than the four that they are. But this defense, Salem has been playing. The man-to-man has been stellar this evening. It's the uh, tell you what, it's a what it's a trait of an Andy Fehrenbacher team. Oh, and there is Jaden Wallace getting his first points of the game. Another uh, almost near takeaway by Marshall as the uh, Wildcats having a difficult time with the Marshall press. Makes you understand how they scored 88 points on uh, Tuesday night against Vandalia. They lead here by six, 19-13. And a steal by Tingley. He heads to the hoop. He's fouled two or three times by Haddon Leibarger, and Tingley will head to the free throw line for two. That was just an outstanding defensive play by Daniel Tingley. Jacob Kenke not quite tall enough to get over Tingley on the uh, pass intended up court. And it did not get a get through Daniel Tingley. Kenke at 5'8", Tingley at 5'11", and you saw it there. He missed the first, second one on the way, off the iron, no good. And a foul's going to go against Marshall. That's going to go against Jacob Schaffner. As Daniel Tingley missed both free throws. And it comes to Kenke. Over to Lieberger. They trap him crossing the timeline. He nearly loses the handle. Gets it to Luke Light. Around the horn, Trent Bowles fakes the three. Boy, they are trapping everywhere. And they're going to call a foul, I believe, on Jaden Wallace. That'll be his first. Team foul number five for Marshall. Just under six minutes to play here in this second quarter. Long pass was not long enough for Bowles. Taken away by Tingley. Fires the three that won't go. Rebound knocked off the leg of Reese by Light. And it'll go back to Salem. That was uh, Light making the good play on one end after... uh, the play that he, the pass that he'd probably like to have back on the other one. Another turnover from Salem. I'm not keeping track, but I've got to think half a dozen or more. Quick pass up across the timeline to Bowles. Gets it to Heliberger. He drops it to B to the hoop and in. Once Salem breaks that pressure, they're having it their way with the uh, half court offense. Secondary break has been very effective for Salem. Wallace, nice step in and step back. Did not take the shot. Tingley with it over to Jaden Wallace. Wallace drives to the free throw line. The right elbow shot is up and no good. Tipped up and in. Jacob Schaffner. Here comes Salem down by six again. All the way to the loop. Haddon Lieberger. Tough shot won't fall. Rebound picked up by Harper. He gets it over to Reese. And his pass is stolen away by Kenke. Kenke lays it up and in. 21-17. Both these teams playing full court press all game long. That's the kind of action you like to see. Entertainment. And effective, too, for both of them. Certainly for Marshall. Caden Walsh drops it down. Jumper was good. Jacob Schaffner again. Bowles tried to get it over to B, and they're going to call a blocking foul against Ethan Harper. That'll be his second. Team foul number six. Marshall fans looking for the traveling violation. They're not getting it as Trent Bowles will head back to the free throw line. Bowles with uh, two for two from the line so far. As with 4.13 to go. Did a little housekeeping out there. Got to clean the court up. Darren Greenwald from uh, Blueford and 
Jared Knapp from the Mount Vernon. Barry Adair, but I don't know when. He does some LIC games probably. Andy Fehrenbacher probably quite familiar with this crew as uh, they have the uh, tournament up in Salem and members of this crew are no communicable virus is transmitted as Bowles misses the first of two. 4.13 to go here in the first half. You are watching the Flora Regional Championship game on Wabash Catch TV. Second one's good. Winner gets a trip to the Shelbyville Regional on Tuesday night. Where they'll take on the uh, winner of the Roxana Regional. The uh, Roxana Regional has Alton Marquette and Roxana in the final tonight. We'll try to keep uh, keep uh, posted on that game as well. Cowan wide open for three. Oh, and he missed it. Boy, Cowan shot well in the uh, three-point competition held earlier tonight. When I get a moment, I'll uh, give you the uh, advancers from the three-point shootout. Outside with it, Leighton Ware off to Caden B. B drives down the lane, then lays it up, and it won't fall. Cowan did advance in that three-point shootout. Reese with it. Drops it back down into the corner. Tingley up and in. Daniel Tingley with two three-pointers, five two-pointers. He has 16, and he's 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Go figure. Both of his, uh, or most of his field goals have been farther than that 15 feet. I think he had a short jumper of about six and then a layup. But other than that, he has been pouring them in from distance. Eight-point game now. Marshall with the lead. Pass down to Bowles. Works against Rees. In traffic. Puts it up. Tough shot. Well defended. Rees with the rebound, and he's fouled by Trent Bowles. Bowles is going to pick up his second. That's a big one. That's a big one for the Wildcats, and Kate Alderson will check in. There's the shot up, and uh, you can see Bowles on the push. That's just team foul number three for Salem. Six uh, team fouls for Marshall. Tingley with it, guarded by Liebarger. Outside, they lob it down, intended for Rees, and he wasn't there for it. Might have thought you had, uh, they might have thought they had a big old uh, Jesse Burdick in there. 6'7", senior, might have been able to get to that. Rees is no uh, slouch in height himself. He's 6'5". On the drive, Kenke, off balance, won't fall. Rebound taken away by Wallace. They can go up 10 or 11 through traffic. Travels. Got a little bit out of control and... uh, Looked for contact to bail him out. Regional time contact doesn't bail you out very often. They let teams play physically. They, officials all over the state, they do not want to uh, step in the way of the players. Especially in February, especially in the regional, especially on championship night. B drives right baseline, spins to his left, shot too strong. Rebound taken away by Shafter. He looks across. Works against Kenke. Kenke, uh, the sophomore, liable to just pick him clean if they let those two, def- let him defend him all night long. Kenke is very strong defensively. Wallace working against Alberson and B. Now they switch out to Kenke. More natural setup. 1-10 to go here in the first half. Eight-point lead for Marshall. Drop pass to Reese, and he's going to be fouled on the floor before the shot. I think Alberson is going to get it. Yep. First foul against Kate Alberson, 107 to go here in the half. And Luke Light will check back in. Light, no fouls. 
as I said, just four fouls uh, so far against the Wildcats. Wallace lobs it into Reeves. Boy, that is a, an advantage when you've got a player three inches taller than anybody else on the court or defended by a player six inches shorter than he is. You just lob it up and let him go get it. On the drive, Shafter, and it's going to be a blocking foul called on Luke Light. He was beaten had he not stuck that uh, big old uh, left leg out there and gotten in his Shafter's way. Team foul number five. And checking in for Marshall Ben Ross. He'll replace Jacob Shafter. Shafter getting the glad hand as he has a couple of buckets. Into the corner it comes to him. Now outside, Wallace. Wallace gets a screen. Doubled up. Off to Tingley, 40 seconds to go. Marshall averaging 65 points a game. So far, Salem has slowed him down, but Salem's offense hasn't kept up. Cowan from the corner. You had to figure Ethan Cowan was going to show up soon. And there it is. As he's the, one of the advancing three-point shooters. He hit out, uh, 11 out of 15. And now one for two here. Pass down to Light. Gets stolen away by Tingley. Eight seconds to go. Four. Tingley working against Liebarger. Long three is good. What a huge first half for Daniel Tingley as he'll head into the locker room with 19 to lead all scores. He has more points than Salem combined. After one half of play, it is Marshall leading Salem. 32 to 18. We'll be back to the Florida Regional Championship game here on Wabash Catch TV after these words. Make Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield your fashion leader. We're the little boutique with the big inventory of beautiful, trendy outfits and clothing in a wide array of your favorite name brands. And don't forget our large selection of jewelry and accessories. Carnaby Square is Southern Illinois' largest dealer of Brighton. At Carnaby Square, we take pride in our one-on-one, -on -one knowledgeable customer service and look forward to helping you create your own special look. Plus, always free gift wrapping. Find endless gift ideas 24-7 at CarnabySquare.com and on our Facebook page. Shop the fashion leader in downtown Fairfield. Fairfield, Carnaby Square. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch, small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. Russ Broniker, Boulder Chevrolet Buick in Salem, and Russ Broniker Auto Group in Effingham are your premier sources for new and pre-owned vehicles in Southern Illinois. Their outstanding and diverse selection of GM products and commitment to quality service ensure satisfied customers who return time after time. After over 30 years, your friends at Boulder and the Broniker Auto Group remain committed to the simple philosophy. Offer a quality product and back it up with service that's second to none. That's Boulder Chevrolet Buick in Salem and Russ Broniker Cadillac Buick in GMC in Effingham. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Clay City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. 
At Back and Body Works Chiropractic, we help you feel better naturally. We can help your whole family from newborns to the elderly. We offer auriculotherapy for smoking cessation and appetite control. We use acupuncture to improve health and well-being in the mind and body. We offer high-quality herbal supplements for adults and children, as well as CBD oil. We also offer exercise classes for women of every age, size, and fitness level. Stop by and see us on the square in Louisville. Call my mommy! It won't always be new. It won't always be clean. It won't always be flawless. But it'll always be yours. So how do you know it'll be protected? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, take simple steps today. At Country Financial, when you're ready to start, we're ready to help with auto insurance. See me, Alex Atwood and Sisney, for your insurance and financial needs. Welcome to the Building Center. My dad and Ryan work here. They sell lumber, paint, doors, windows, pumping, electrical, and much more. Oh yeah, they sell guns too. Zing Building Center on Route 45 and Wolf's It's a cool place. We are monitoring all of your preventative health. I'm Marlissa Boyles. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Clay Medical Center, which is one of our 11 clinics out of the Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation. We have implemented PCMH, Patient Care Medical Home. We work in collaboration with many specialists. This helps in tracking what you need for your age and any preventative screening. We would love to have you here in our family. Visit us at crhpc.org. It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. When it comes to your banking, you have as many options as colors in the crayon box. That's why you can bank your way at Tutopolis State Bank. What works best for you may be different from what works best for your neighbor. Tutopolis State Bank is built to serve all your banking needs, whether it's online banking, mobile check deposit, text banking, or just stopping in to see them at one of their three convenient locations. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender, it's Tutopolis State Bank. Banking made personal since 1913. Shy Diesel Service Company is your anything diesel full service center and fuel injection shop. Shy Diesel offers the quickest turnaround times to get you back on the road. Shy Diesel can service any diesel engine from agricultural, construction, heavy duty truck, and automotive. Let Shy rebuild your pump, injectors, or turbos. Need custom fuel lines? Shy has you covered. With a drive in service, they offer a variety of services, including oil changes, engine rebuilds, DOT inspections, and DPF cleanings. For unmatched quality, think Shy Diesel Service Company. Anything. Diesel. Are you tired of searching high and low in those big chain stores to find what you need and deserve some royal treatment? Come to the King, Rural King, in Salem. The friendly folks at Rural King will never leave you searching for those hard to find items on your list. Farm, home, sporting, automotive, and clothing. Oh, and did I mention we also have everything else, along with all the quality brands that you deserve. Salem Rural King is a proud retailer of the steel product line. Your searching is over when you know the King, Rural King, in Salem. Salem. I thought I'd lost my business in that fire, but my agent was there before the flames were out. He said, together, we're going to rebuild. Our employees depended on it. My independent agent and auto owners made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. North Wayne Insurance Agency in Flora is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency. 
Are you needing to advertise or promote your business or special event? At Meager Sign and Graphics, they can print and install laminated vinyl on all sizes of metal, PVC, and plastic sign material. Meagers offers all types of vinyl options with professional installation on your vehicles, walls, and windows, or just about anything else you would like to be personalized. Meagers also offers all sizes of PVC and mesh banners. Meagers is now able to offer LED message centers. Stop in or call Kevin Blank or Danny King at Meagers Sign and Graphics for all your lettering and advertising. Needs. Welcome back to uh, Florida. The Marshall Lions lead the Salem Wildcats here at the half uh, by a score of 32 to 18. Uh, Lions put up uh, 19 points in that second quarter, led by Daniel Tingley. He has three three pointers, five deuces for uh, 16 points, 0 for 2 from the line, four apiece for Jacob Schaffner and Ethan Harper, uh, two for two from the line for Harper. And three for Ethan Cowan, two for Jaden Wallace. Uh, Jesse Burdick has two fouls, and Ethan Harper with two fouls for the Marshall for the Lions. Salem's going to have to heat up the shooting irons. They've uh, only scored nine points in each quarter. They're led here by Caden B with six, five for Haddon Leibarger, and uh, two apiece for Luke Light and for Jacob Kenke. Taking a look at scores from around the state, some of the other uh, regionals we're keeping an eye on. Down in Carmi, Fairfield leads Benton. All these halftime scores, by the way. Down in Carmi, Fairfield over Benton, 27-22. In Vienna, it's Mount Carmel over uh, Par- Mount Carmel over Massac County, 21 to 20. At halftime, the uh, lead in the game. These uh, the the uh, opponent, the next opponent for the winner of this game. Alton Marquette leads Roxana 15 to 11 at the half. Up at uh, Paris, Pena leads to T-Town 30 to 26. Also uh, down at Murfreesboro, the Murfreesboro squad leads Pinckneyville 26-22. In class 1A, one score to report, Woodlong over Wayne City at halftime 21 to 13. Haven't been able to find a score on Altamont Dietrich or on uh, Effingham St. Anthony North Clay, but I will keep my eyes peeled. Marshall will get the basketball to start things off here in this second half. As uh, Salem will send out their same starters. Trent Bowles, Haddon Leibarger, Leighton Ware, pardon me, yeah, Leighton Ware, Jacob Kenke, and Caden B. For Marshall, it's Jaden Wallace along with Daniel Tingley, Ethan Cowan along with uh, Jesse Burdick, and Ethan Harper down low for the Marshall Lions. Burdick a long way outside, count was on. He's able to get rid of it. Long three on the way from Tingley. No good this time. And Bowles gets the rebound. There's the score at the half. St. Anthony leads North Clay. Pardon me, after one. St. Anthony leads North Clay 27 to 17. So a high scoring first quarter over at uh, Red Hill. Wow, the jumper from Lieberger is blocked away by Tingley. He gets it back and throws it into the corner to Caden B. Defense has been pretty stalwart for Marshall here tonight, too. I've said some nice things about Salem. Marshall's played pretty solid defense as well, causing a lot of turnovers as Caden B.F. chases the rebound down to the half line. 32-18. to 18. Score remains. That's where we started this half. Salem needs to cut in. And soon. Bowles, fadeaway jumper won't go. Rebound taken down by Harper. Long pass to Cowan. He's open for three, and he hits again. Salem coaches and players saw the same thing I did before the ball game when Ethan Cowan came out and uh, calmly knocked down 11 three-pointers in that uh, three-point shootout competition. Jumper from Lieberger is up and good. Others advancing, by the way, in that uh, from Lawrenceville. Skyler Toole and two from Vandalia. Chase Locke 
and uh, Garrett Austin. Pardon me, Matthew Wells and Chase Locke. Short layup, it layup is uh, just a bit short for Jaden Walls. Caden B follows him down court, lays it up and in. Cuts the lead to 13. It was 14 just moment. It was 17 just moments ago. Long three from Wallace is good. And it's back to a 16 point margin. 524 to go. Salem hasn't shot a ton of threes. Tonight, jumper from B is good. It's going to be tough to catch up, giving up three for two. Going to have to count on the defense for a lot of empty possessions for Marshall. Tingley drives to the hoop. Shot is up, no good, and an offensive foul. Caden B stood his ground and takes the charge. First foul this half for Marshall on the first foul of the game against Daniel Tingler. Trent Bowles will head to the bench and he'll be replaced by Luke Light with 4.52 to go and Bowles does not look good. Oh, he's just angry. I thought he looked sick, but he's, he's sick from being behind. Jumper, short layup is good for Luke Light. Thing is, Salem probably doesn't want to get into a Marshall up and down style ball game. Marshall better equipped for it, but Salem may not have the choice if they want to catch up. Down by 12 now. 420 to go here in the third. Jaden Wallace looking down low, can't get it to Harper. Wallace on the dribble against Kenke. Drives baseline to the hoop, shots up and in. It looked like to me that Kenke had that baseline shut off, but Wallace says, never mind that, I'm heading to the basket. Eight points for each team so far this half. B for three, good! The sophomore for Salem trying to drag his team back in it. Down by 11. Wallace gets around his uh, player. Three-pointer won't fall. Rebound Kenke. And it's a loose ball. Kenke gathers. Then it loses it. Harper collects for Marshall. To Wallace, he lays it up and in. Three twenty to go in the third. 42 to 29. I think the whistle's only blown twice here in this quarter. There'll be some uh, tired basketball players on the drive. The runner is up and good for Leighton Ware. His first points of the night. Cuts that lead back to 11 again. Salem loved to have that lead down to six or seven by the end of the quarter. Plenty of time here in the third. Under three minutes. Tingley defended by Lieberger. They're looking down for Harper. Harper sees setting screens and setting screens. Wallace takes advantage, backs up for three. Oh, it was three quarters of the way down. Rebound to Salem. They can get it to single digits. Be the first time since late in the first half. Two big three pointers at the end of the half. For Marshall created that 14 point halftime lead. Three on the way is good. Luke Light. And timeout on the court. Salem has cut it to eight. Timeout by Marshall. Back after this word. Morton Building's annual sales event, Building Value Days, is going on now. If you're dreaming of a home and garage, farm storage building, insulated workshop, or even a horse barn or commercial facility, take advantage of discounted pricing on new buildings through February 29th. The quality of our materials, craftsmanship, and industry-leading warranty will ensure your satisfaction for generations to come. So don't delay. Contact your local Morton sales office or visit mortonbuildings.com and learn how you can build for less during Building Value Days. There's that big big uh, shot from Luke Light. 
And a shout out to a friend in St. Louis watching tonight, Daniel Harris, watching uh, the uh, watching tonight's contest. Appreciate you tuning in from Soulard, Big Dan. Big Dan is an outstanding broadcaster in his own right. Here comes Marshall, up by eight. Two minutes to go here in the third. Daniel Tingley drives down the left side of the lane and travels. He was waiting for a foul to be called on Caden B or a Luke Light or Haddon Lieberger. And no whistle, and it'll go to the Wildcats. Tingley with 19 in the first half, yet to score here in the third quarter. Outside Light works it against Harper to the free throw line. Nowhere to go. Back outside Kenke. Good move. Able to uh, settle it down a little bit. B to the right. Weyer. Weyer gets around his man. Heads to the hoop. Lays it up and off. No good. Loose ball. Picked away by B. Took it away from Harper. Short jumper. No good. Rebound picked up by Marshall. They have numbers. Tingley to the hoop. Backs up. Jumper. Good. Bumps it back to 10 with 1.15 to go. Third quarter. Marshall led by 14 at the half. Salem has cut into it. They want to, they need to keep scoring. Can ill afford empty possessions now and probably for the rest of the way. B to light. He had Lieberger cut it. Fired, pass fired down the wire. And it's off his hands out of bounds. Kenke put had put just a little bit. Too much mustard on that pass. And with 48 seconds to go, Marshall may be content to try to hold. We'll see. It's not really their style, but you never know. Reese off to Wallace. Hands it off to Harper, back to Tingley. They won't hold three from Tingley. Good. And all of a sudden, Salem had cut it to eight. And it's back to 13. Doggone it, says Coach Fahrenbacher. You got to climb that hill again. Lieberger back outside Kenke. 12 seconds to go. Takes a look at his coach. Says, go to the hoop, go to the hoop. He does. Shots wild, won't go. Rebound Harper, three seconds to go. Up ahead. They see Tingley at the buzzer. No good. After three, it is Marshall 47, Salem 34. Back after this. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Established in 1945 by farmers and folks like you, the primary goal of South Central FS has always been to improve the profitability of farming. And with a focus on service and safety, FS Propane is committed to keeping your system and appliances running efficiently. FS is a local full-service propane company offering you expert tank installation and system maintenance, as well as dedicated seasonal service. So when it comes to managing your propane needs, look to the experts. Look to South Central FS. Here's a look at that tingly fadeaway. That was a dandy as we go into the last eight minutes of play. Marshall leads by 13. It will be Salem's basketball. To start things off here in the quarter. Down low to B. He spins and puts it up. And in. Cuts that lead back to 11. Harper brings it across. First time he's dribbled tonight. Gets it over to Shafton. And Marshall going to slow things down a little bit. Up by 11 with seven and a half to go here in the ballgame. Reese looks down low. 
Fires it back outside, Tingley. Working against Lieberger, man-to-man all night for Salem. On the drive, Tingley jumper is good. Wow. Tingley has 26, leads everybody. As that pass is kicked away by Reese, Lance Reese. So, Wildcats will throw in. Marshall has been pretty consistently scoring about 10 to 15 to 20 points each quarter. And Salem is going to have to have about a 25-point quarter to catch up, I'm thinking. B to the hoop. He's going to tr- see if he can't make that happen. Ethan Harper picks up the foul. And Caden B will head to the free throw line for two shots. Just the second foul of the half against Marshall. Salem yet to commit a foul. By the way, that's three on Harper. First four B is good. That's his first trip to the line, by the way. Misses the second. One out of two. 49-37. Salem by 12. Led by 13 at the break. Tingley over to Reese. Off to Wallace. The senior heads to the free throw line. To Harper, another senior. He says, come on, Jaden, get the ball. I don't want to ha- hand it out here. Against this quick Caden B. Wallace guarded by Kenke. Reese guarded by Light. Long three from Tingley is off the back arm. And they uh, pick up the rebound beyond the three-point line. All the Wildcats crash the hoop. And Tingley drives to the uh, lane. Shot won't go. All the Wildcats crash to that hoop on that three-point shot. And it bounced away over their heads. On the drive, Liebarger clears room. Shot won't fall. Rebound Harper. He loses it. Picked up by Schaffner. Up ahead to Wallace. Wallace with room and backs it out. Under six to go. 12-point lead for Marshall. You see the coach. John Weber saying, settle down, boys, settle down, run your offense. That also runs about 20 or 30 seconds off the clock. Shafter hands it off to Tingley. You do that often enough, and you're going to uh, punch your ticket to Shelbyville if you're Marshall. Wildcats are going to need to, uh, well, first of all, Wildcats haven't picked up a foul yet this half, and that's going to have to change, like, really soon. On the drive, Tingley to the hoop, he lays it in. Back to that 14-point lead. It's been there. At, it was there at the half. Salem cut it to eight. Have been not a, have not been able to get closer than that. 51-37. Outside with it. Cross court. Liebarger down to B. B on the dribble. Back into the corner. Ware. Kenke. Light for three on the way. It won't fall. Rebound tipped up. Taken away by Reese. Wildcats cannot afford empty possessions. They got to start hacking. They're going to run out of time. That ball lost out of bounds. Last touch by B. Pardon me, last touch by the passer. And it will go to the Wildcats. Good adjustment there by Dooge. Darren Greenwald had the best view of it. He overruled his official mate, his teammate. Drive by B, misses the shot, rebound away or to the hoop. Shot won't fall. And again, Salem having a uh, piece of glass over that rim. Kenke drops it down to light, lets the traffic go by. He's fouled by uh, Ethan Harper, and Light will head to the line for the first time tonight. There's where he lets the first defender go by and waits on the second one, Ethan Harper, to whack him on top of the head. Just the third team foul on Marshall. And Burdick will check back in. They send the bulky 
senior Ethan Harper off to the sideline and bring in the lanky senior uh, Jesse Burdick. Two out of two for Light. And there's the turnover. Salem saying, so you say there's a chance. Timeout on the court. Taken by Marshall. We'll take one as well. 3.58 to go. Marshall takes it back after these. Napa know-how. At Flora Auto Parts, you can count on the Napa know-how experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, your locally owned Napa store carries a large inventory of parts for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced counter people understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa know-how at Flora Auto Parts. There's a look at that nice drive by uh, Caden B. As he was able to get a hoop. Trying to find some more late scoring. Well, that can't be right. It says here, final, 34-34, Benton and Fairfield. That's got to be after three. Uh, it's 36-34, Fairfield, uh, with six minutes to go in the game. Up at... Uh, Paris, Pena leads to Topless, 46 to 40 at the start of the fourth quarter. After three, Murfreesboro over Pinckneyville, 34-31. And let's see if I can find anything else. Not in time. As we'll have a stoppage in play. One of the basketballs from the fans comes bouncing out onto the court. 51-39, to 39, Wildcats basketball. They need buckets. They need points. Off to the left. Shot is up. Three won't fall for Liebarger. And Tingley down with the rebound. Boy, Tingley having a good night. Up ahead, Reese. Back now to a wall. He drives around traffic, and he's going to get fouled. As Kinky is going to pick up that foul, I think the uh, I believe the uh, Salem Wildcats have realized now they're going to have to start whacking. The cross with it, Jaden Wallace. Three twenty to go. That was just the first foul of the second half for Salem. They're still letting him go. Drop pass to uh, Burdick. He puts it up and in. Count the shot. Jesse Burdick with his first points tonight. And that's going to be the second foul on Jacob Kenke. Bumps that lead back to 14 and Marshall is clawing their way to Shelbyville. Still time, but Salem's going to have to start hitting some shots. That free throw won't go. Here come the Wildcats, down by 14. Into the corner, and a turnover again will give it back. St. A. Bulldogs led uh, North Clay at the half. 39-22. 39-22. to 22. Salem wants a timeout with 3.04 to go. We'll take one as well. It's 53-39. Back after these. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Welcome back to Flora. After three quarters, St. Anthony leads North Clay 50 to 33. So uh, both the uh, North Clay Cardinals and the Salem Wildcats with plenty of work ahead of them. 
to uh, advance in their respective tournaments. Here it's 53 to 39 in favor of Marshall. Billy Marshall basketball. Salem has only committed two fouls this half. I suspect by the end of the next minute, Salem will have committed about six. Pass comes in to Tingley across to Wallace. Marshall beats the pressure up ahead to Reese. He heads to the hole. Back outside, Burdick to uh, Wallace. Marshall's going to burn clock. Tingley drives around Liebarger to the hoop. Wild shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Liebarger. Up ahead to Kenke, 240 to go. Wildcats down by 14. They're going to need some hoops of the three-point variety. Weyer off to the right. Veal head to the basket. He's too deep, and he throws it away. Taken away by Cowan. He heads to the hoop and lays it in. He's fouled by Kenke, and Cowan will head to the free throw line to all but seal this game. This team now up by 16 with 2.24 to go. Six possessions. And it's going to be a miraculous for Salem to get back in it. Free throws no good. Offensive foul, Bardick. As Caden B took the uh, shoulder to the chest. Dropped like a sack of potatoes. 55-39. Salem with just five points here in this fourth quarter. And there's your difference. Been able, unable to hit shots. Kenke off to Liebarger. It might have gotten away with a double dribble. Up ahead, Weyer. Back to Kenke, drives to the hole. Leaves it for light. Pass knocked away by Burdick, and he steals. Two minutes to go in the game. And Coach Fehrenbacher has sat down. I think Salem has conceded with 140 to go. Down by 16. Tingley will bring it out. The Marshall fans on their feet. Standing ovation for their squad. They're looking to improve to 24 and 6. Advance to the sectional in Shelbyville. 115 to go. Shafter drops it down to Burdick who dunks it. Jesse Burdick has had a frustrating night. And I suspect that he was longing for that one. Luke Light tries to do the same on the other end, and he's fouled by Lance Reese. So light to the free throw line. Stick around after the game. We'll keep it here for a moment as they'll have the trophy presentation, and then we'll take a short break come back with the statistical information as Marshall looking to advance Light hits them both Elijah Strode checks in he'll replace Daniel Tingley what a night for Tingley he'll finish with 28 points Road, 5-7 senior, and timeout taken by Marshall. We'll take one as well. 57-41. We'll be back after this work. 
Country Roads Realty goes the extra mile to take you home. Managing broker Jessica McCleary, along with Terry Weedman, Judy Reed, and Brandon Klein, bring commitment, integrity, and results, as well as 21st century technology to the business of real estate. Virtual house tours are always open at countryroadsrealty.net. Call Country Roads Realty at 842-SOLD and give Country Roads the chance to earn your business and to add you to their long list of satisfied clients. Welcome back to Conley Gymnasium here at the campus of the uh, Flora High School. Regional championship game, the number one seed, Marshall Lions. 49 ticks away from moving on to Shelbyville. Outside with the basketball is Wallace. And uh, they passed to Harper. Drove him into the backcourt. Marshall's going to finish the game with five seniors on the court. And their sixth senior, Jacob Schaffer, pretty fired up on the sideline. Outstanding defensive quarter for sure. Well, outstanding defensive game for Marshall. As that foul is going to go. That foul goes against Jesse Burdick. And to the free throw line, Haddon Labarger, first time tonight. Check that. He's one for one. He's two for two. Young Salem Wildcats team going to finish the year 15 and 16. As Labarger hits them both. And now Coach Weber taking out his starters, giving them an opportunity to stand in the cheers of their fans as the student section climbing the stairs ready to head down court and mob their heroes. Strode gets it in to Ben Ross. And a near steal by Light, but he's going to pick it. Foul once against the Lieberger. 20 seconds to go. Luke Cook with the basketball. Ben Ross on the court along, along with Nick Brown. And down in the corner is uh, Logan Medsker. That's going to do it. The Marshall Lions improve to 24-6. As Salem finishes their campaign at 15 and 16, as they're about to hand out the hardware for the regional championship. Marshall uh, going to uh, head to Shelbyville next week. We'll see if we can't gather who uh, they're going to be playing before we sign off tonight. They cut down the nets. And the Marshall Lions meet at the center court. And Marshall collects their trophy. They will head to Shelbyville. And uh, we'll be back to tell you how it all happened right after this word. Residents of the Clay County and surrounding
Lansing area have relied on Clay County State Bank for sound professional service for over 100 years. With convenient lobby and drive-up hours, we are ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. We appreciate all who bank with us, and we look forward to the opportunity of working with anyone who is looking for a community bank to help with their financial needs. Give us a call at 665-3314, visit us online, or stop by and see us on the square in Louisville to experience our friendly personal service. Get ahead of the game at Carter Athletic Academy, where the goal is to transform you into the best young athlete you can be. Train for top performance in football, volleyball, soccer, baseball, and softball. Professional private lessons and clinics are always available with Carter Athletic Academy's expert training staff. Carter's exclusive hit track system brings skill development as well as exciting gameplay to batting cages. Plus, the Academy is the perfect spot for your special event or celebration. The Carter Athletic Academy in Fairfield. Here's a look at some of the replays uh, from tonight's contest. As I'm uh, looking through to see if I can't find any finals from elsewhere. There's a nice uh, drive by Leighton or by by Leibarger. The jumper from the corner. Just let those guys yell. They're louder than me. Jumper there from Tingley. What a night for Daniel Tingley as he finishes with 28 points. Led all scores, Daniel Tingley with 28. He had four three-pointers. He had 19 in the first half. He had nine in the second. 0 for 2 from the free throw line. The only player in double digits for Marshall. 9 for Jaden Wallace as he had three deuces and a three. 8 for Ethan Cowan. He had three, a couple of deuces and a deuce. A couple of threes and a deuce, pardon me. And 4 apiece for Jesse Burdick, Jacob Schaffner, and Ethan Harper. The uh, Lions, 2 out of 6 from the free throw line. Quarters of 13, 19, 15, and 10. For the uh, Salem Wildcats tonight, they were led by Caden B. Nice night for the sophomore. He's got a lot to. Uh, he's got a lot to look forward to. He was one out of two from the line. Had a three pointer as well. He finished with 16 points. Luke Light, another sophomore, finishes with 11. Four out of four from the line. Adam Leibarger with uh, three out of three from the line finishes with nine points. He had uh, three field goals. Three points for Trent Bowles, three for four from the line. And two points apiece for Jacob Kinky and uh, for Leighton Ware as the uh, running Lions, uh, pardon me, as the Salem Wildcats fall to Marshall Lions by a final of uh, 57 to 43. We do appreciate all you folks tuning in all season long to uh, Wabash Catch TV basketball. We'll be back in baseball season. Here in about three or four weeks. Looking forward to that. The bats and balls coming out for all of us at Wabash Catch TV. Thanks for watching, and uh, thank you so much. This is Bruce Dickey reminding you tonight's final score. Marshall over Salem, 57-43. So long from Florida.